Hello grade 10s and welcome to this lesson on dimension and speed word problems. In word problems, the information is given to you in words rather than in mathematical symbols or formulae. We have to translate those words into equations to solve the problem. This is usually the hardest part. Let's go through some problem solving strategies. Read the question properly and underline any key words. Find what needs to be solved and let that quantity be the variable. Then change the words into algebraic expressions by rewriting the given information in terms of the variable. Set up equations and solve for the variable. And finally, check that your solution makes sense. For example, it doesn't make sense to get a negative number for the cost of material, nor for there to be a fraction of people doing a job. Now let's look at the question that involves dimension. Remember that dimension refers to some type of measurement like length, breadth, or width. Often these problems will include area and volume. A, B, C, D is a rectangle with the length six units longer than the breadth. The area of the rectangle is 55 centimeters squared. Calculate the dimensions of the rectangle. We are asked to calculate the dimensions of the rectangle. That means we need to find the length and the breadth. Let's get started. We are told that length is six units longer than the breadth. So let the breadth be x, then the length will be x plus 6. We are given that the area is 55 squared centimeters. We can write the area in terms of dimensions. Area equals length times breadth. Our length is x plus 6 and our breadth is x. Now that we have translated the problem into a mathematical equation, we can solve for x. So we get 55 equals x squared plus 6x. We can tell it's a quadratic equation by the x squared. This means that we should move the 55 to the right so that we have 0 is equals to x squared plus 6x minus 55. Now to factorize and solve the quadratic trinomial, we get x plus 11 times x minus 5 equals 0. This means that either x plus 11 equals 0 or x minus 5 equals 0. Solving these equations, we find that x is equals to negative 11 or 5. How do we decide which answer is correct? Is it negative 11? or positive 5? Well, it's not possible to have a negative measurement for a side. Therefore, the breadth must be 5 centimeters. The original question asked for the dimensions. So we need to take our answer of x is equals to 5 and use it to find the length and breadth. The breadth was equal to x, so it is 5 centimeters long. The length was x plus 6, therefore we substitute x equals 5 and get the length as 5 plus 6, which equals 11 centimeters. Now check that your answer is correct. The area equals 11 times 5, which equals 55 centimeters squared. So we are correct. Sometimes we need to put the given information into a table and use the relationships between the different quantities to help us solve the word problem. This is a very helpful method when we answer word problems related to speed, distance, and time. Let's join Helen as she looks at an example like this. So we're going to carry on with some word problems. Let's see what we've got next. Two jets are flying towards each other from airports that are 1,200 kilometers apart. The one jet is flying at 200 kilometers per hour and the other jet at 350 kilometers per hour. If they took, out, took off at the same time, how long will it take for the jets to pass each other? Okay, 
sometimes it helps to draw a little picture. So here we have airport A and airport B. We've got one jet that's flying this way and the other jet that's flying that way. This jet is traveling 250 kilometers an hour and this one is traveling 350 kilometers per hour. So this jet B is actually traveling faster than jet A or from airport A. The distance between the two airports is 1,200 kilometers from each other. Now when these two jets meet at this point or pass each other at this point, their combined distance is going to be 1,200 kilometers. You'll notice that we've used some key term terminology here. We've used speed, we've used distance, and we've used time, which should give you a clue that that triangle is going to help here. So let's set up our table and decide what our x is going to be, form the equation, and solve for x. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is remind us what the triangle looks like. There it is, and speed is equals to distance divided by time. Next let's draw the table and there it is and we need to if they took off at the same time how long will it take for the jets to pass each other? What's going to be our x? Let time equal X. Now they're going to take the same amount of time to travel until the point that they pass each other. We're going to call the one plane, plane A, and the other plane, plane B. The distance is going to be something else. We do know the speed. And the speed of plane A is 250 kilometers per hour and of B is 350 kilometers per hour. Now don't let that sense of panic settle. You need to find out what the distance is and this is normal. You need to establish it by using the triangle. Distance is equals to speed times time and we know this from the triangle. So distance equals speed times time. The speed is 250 kilometers, the time is x. The speed is 350 kilometers, the time is x. Let's make sure we've used all of the information. Two jets are flying towards each other from airports that are 1,200 kilometers apart. One jet is flying 250 kilometers an hour, the other jet at 350 kilometers an hour. If they took off at the same time, how long would it take for the jets to pass each other? The only information we haven't used is the 1,250 kilometers. Now we know that when they reach each other, they are going to have flown a combined distance of 1,250 kilometers. That means our equation is going to be plane A's distance plus plane B's distance equals 1,250 kilo kilometers. Now it's pretty plain sailing. 250x plus 350x gives us 600x is equals to 1,200. Now to solve for x, we just need to divide. Can you see how we're flying through this problem? It's great. 1,200 divided by 600 gives us x is equals to 2. What was x mean, meant to be? It was meant to be the time, and all of our time measurements are in hours. That means the planes will reach each other at two hours. We'll reach each other after flying for two hours.
Now, they were not asking for that as the answer. They were asking, how long will it take for the jets to pass each other? So you need to say that then they will pass each other. The planes will reach each other after flying for two hours, and then they will pass each other. Okay. Thank you for joining us, Grade 10s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Equations and Inequalities task video. You'll also be able to learn more about equations on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.